numbers in BC 5. The place values of numbers in BC 5. So, I have this number 4. Let me say number 1. I have 4, 2, 3, 0, 1. Okay? So, it is in base what? 5. So, I'll put base 5 there. The small 5 there. Uh, it should be really small. Very small, yeah. That shows this number is in base 5. So, what is the place value of 1 in base 5? What is the place value of 4 in base 5? What is the place value of 3 in base 5? Okay? So, I say in base 5, this one has the place value of 1. In base 5, this 0 has the place value of Fives. In base 5, this 3 has the place value of 20, 20 fives. 20 fives. In base 5, this 2 has the place value of this 2 has the place value of who? One hundred, one hundred space. I'm sure the space is not okay. as in the place value of one hundred twenty. Five. This two has the place value of one hundred twenty-five. Then what is the place value of four? Four has the place value of six hundred six hundred twenty. Five. Okay, so these are the press values of numbers in base in BC five. These are the press values of numbers in base five. So the one, the the first number on the right side is ones, then fives, then twenty fives, then one hundred twenty fives. Okay, then. 625s okay so these are the first value first values of numbers in bc5 so what is the logic in finding the place value of these uh, numbers in base 5 the logic which is here is the first number in all the number bases has the place value of ones so to find the next the place value of the next number from the right, we are going to multiply 1 by the base number, which is 5. So we are going to say 1 times this 5, it will give us 5, which is the next place value of this number is 5. Then, to find the place value of this number, we are going to multiply this number or this Place the place value of this number by 5. So the place value of this number is 5. So I'm going to multiply by the number of the base, which is 5. Then we're going to say 5 times 5, which will give us 25. Okay. So that is the logic which is there. So for us to get the place value of this number, uh, we are going to multiply 25 by 5, which will give us 125. Then, to find the place value of this, we are going to multiply 125 by 5, which will give us 625, which is the place value of this number. So, if we are to find another number, if, if for instance there was another number here, we could have multiplied 625 by 5, which, has, which could have given us something like 3,000. 
Okay, so this is how you 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 you, you find the place value of numbers in base five. So these are the place values of numbers in base five. What is what what are the importance? What is the importance of knowing the place value of numbers in base five? In the future lessons, we're going to talk about converting numbers in base five into base ten. We're going to use these place values to help us find the numbers. They to help us to convert the numbers in base five into base ten. I will just I won't just go like this. I will give some two two numbers which I want you to write the place value of those uh, numbers. So number one, I have one zero. Write the place value one zero in base five. Write the place value of zero and one. Then number two, we are saying we have four. Three, two, zero, one. Okay, almost the same. Let me remove this one because it's almost the same as the example. We are saying two, three, four, one. Write the place value of these numbers. So this number is also in base five. So we are asking you to write the numbers in base. Uh, to write the place value of numbers in base five. So this this is the figure we have. What is the place value of one? What is the place value of four? Otherwise, this is how you write the place value of numbers. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you in the next video, which we are going to be talking about the place value of uh, numbers in base eight. With that being said, we are saying God bless you. See you in the next video.